Well, Apple have finally announced a new Mac Pro, a computer I've been waiting for ever since that Mac Pro 5.1 got ditched in favor of the trash can. And I've been thinking about the new Mac Pro and I've got a few thoughts to share. Now, of course, opinions are a lot like nipples. Everybody's got some. And who's gonna be interested in mine? Opinions, that is, not nipples. Uh, well, I've been using Apple computers for the past quarter of a century in my professional career. And I would say I'm traditionally part of the target market for a professional Mac. I'm a co-owner of a digital agency with around 40 staff, and the Mac Pro is something that we buy for our studio. So what do I think of this new Mac Pro? Now, obviously the design isn't for everybody, and I'm not overly keen on it. I find it grates a little on me. Sorry, I that was a bit cheesy. Uh, I could live with the looks, but the price of entry, $6,000. If you adjust for inflation, this new Mac Pro is almost double the price of any that have gone before. And put simply, there's no way I'm gonna be fitting out our studio with this new model. But then having given this some consideration, I don't think I'm the target market anymore for a Mac Pro. If we think about what's happened over the last five years, consumer grade CPUs and GPUs have advanced so much that we don't really need the Pro hardware anymore in a lot of cases. Because there's plenty in Apple's lineup to cater for professionals like me uh, who are doing design work, um, video editing, development of software, those sort of things. Traditionally, the Mac Pro has always been favored, of course, because it had expandability You've got user accessible hard disks, the PCIe slots, uh, you could access the RAM and you could even change the CPUs. It was easy to upgrade the machine over time as your needs changed. And I recognize that that's still very important to some professionals, but for many of us, we can achieve what we need through external PCIe enclosures that run over Thunderbolt. The new Mac mini, the iMac offerings, are often enough power for these professional applications. And I think Apple has recognized this. The fact that they have the iMac Pro as well has to fit in between these consumer Macs and this new Mac Pro. I think they've recognized that and they're chasing a whole different market with this new Mac Pro. They're chasing professionals who are happy to drop thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars on a workstation. We're thinking maybe of applications like engineering, 3D visualization, medical science, for example. And we saw from the launch as well that Apple is clearly targeting video editors and colorists who have to work with heavyweight 6K and 8K content. And this Mac Pro is going to really please them because it can be specced up with 8, 12, 16, 24, even 28 core Xeon CPUs. It can have up to one and a half terabytes of ECC RAM on the bigger CPUs. And there are eight PCIe slots, four of those are double wide for graphics cards, three single wide, and there's one that's half length, which is pre-populated, I believe, with the IO card. But this Mac Pro is an absolute beast, but not at the $6,000 entry point. You see, $6,000 just gets you an admittedly fast eight core Xeon, 32 gigs of RAM, a paltry 256 gig SSD, and a Radeon Pro 580X GPU. Now that is not a $6,000 specification. Uh, for about half the price, you can get the 27 inch iMac with the eight core i9 and a Vega 48 GPU that will probably outperform the entry level Mac Pro in a lot of applications. And for that price, you're also getting that glorious 5K display included. Now I completely get why some professionals would want and even need the spec'd up version of the Mac Pro. And I can see them paying the big bucks for it. Now, Apple hasn't released pricing info yet, but I expect that a fully loaded Mac Pro is probably gonna be knocking on the door of $40,000, maybe even more. But there are some professional applications where that amount of expenditure would still deliver a return on investment. But who exactly is this $6,000 entry level Mac Pro for? I mean, you've gotta really want the upgradability and expandability to effectively pay double the price for those components. I suppose there may be some, they just want the prestige of having the Mac Pro on their desk. And well, if you've got the money and it's what you want, go for it. And likewise, I'm sure that there'll be companies who'll be happy to pay that premium just to get that look in their office, or perhaps even to incentivize their staff. 
Uh, really though, in my opinion, the Mac Pro is massively overpriced at the entry point. And sadly then, the computer that I've been waiting so long for is never going to find a place on my desk. Well, I hope you found the video interesting. Thanks for watching. I'd really like to hear your views as well. So please leave a comment below. Um, don't forget to show some love with those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time.